In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Yes. One of the things that we learn from Jesus is the art of praying. And if we have not learned from Jesus, we would not know as to how to pray, when to pray, and why to pray, and what to pray. And therefore today the Lord teaches his disciples as to how to pray. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in your single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. Jonah was very indignant. He fell into a rage. He prayed to the Lord and said, Ah, Lord, is not this just, as I said, would happen when I was still at home? That's why I went and fled to Tarish. I knew that you were a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, relenting from evil. So now, Lord, please take away my life, for I might as well be dead as go on living. The Lord replied, Are you right to be angry? Jonah then went out of the city and sat down to the east of the city. There. He made himself a shelter and sat under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. Then the Lord God arranged that a castor oil plant should grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head and soothe his ill humor. Jonah was delighted with the castor oil plant, but at dawn the next day, God arranged that a worm should attack the castor oil plant and it whiter. Next, when the sun rose, God arranged that there should be a searching east wind. The sun beat down so hard on Jonah's head that he was overcome and begged for death, saying, I might as well be dead as go on living. God said to Jonah, Are you right to be angry about the castor oil plant? He replied, I have every right to be angry to the point of death. The Lord replied, You are only upset about a castor oil plant which cost you no labor, which you did not make grow, which sprouted in a night and has preached in a night and I am not to feel sorry 
for Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than a hundred and twenty thousand people who cannot tell their right hand from their left, to say nothing of all the animals. The word of the Lord. You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of the, of my voice. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Lord, to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 11, verses 1 to 4. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, and, we, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us, and do not put us to the test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Take and receive, O Lord, my liberty. Take all my will, my mind, my memory. Do thou direct, blessed are you, and govern all and sweet. Do what thou wilt, command and I obey. Only thy grace and love on me bestow, possessing these all riches I forego. sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God the Almighty. Father, may there are the sacrifice be given for, for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and the all God's riches. O Lord, who gained for yourselves the people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly just right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in you we live and move and have our being and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care but even now possess the pledge of life eternal for having received the first fruits of the spirit through whom you raised up jesus from the dead we hope for an everlasting share in the paschal mystery and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebrations we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion <coughs> jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for all and for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim the word of God and confess your faith until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with friends of pope paul our bishop and all the bishops the clergy the religious and the faithful Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her chaste spouse and with blessed apostles Saint Paul our patron and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be quiet in our life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Now as we heard it in the gospel of Jesus taught teaching us to pray prayer of our father now we shall just pray this prayer silently just realizing what we say Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever Lord Jesus Christ you said repass us peace i leave you 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes service in another world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to see you, but only to the world, and I should be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you and pray as you, have, as you teach. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is endless. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.